Welcome guys to episode number 23 of my FIFA 16 Barcelona crew mode. Today we have a huge episode because if we were to drop points in any of our games in today's episode, it could cost us the league title. You guys can see that we've played 35 games. Second is Valencia who have played 34. They do have a game in hand. If they do win their game in hand, they will go level points with us at the top of the table with only three games to go for this La Liga season. It is getting so intense right now, guys. Make sure you go so show your support on the video by dropping a like rating. Let's try and end off this season strong by smashing over 100 likes on every single episode. Uh, obviously, we are getting into uh, the later stages of the season. Obviously, there's only three games to go, so it really is the end of the season. And obviously, we've still got the Spanish Cup final and possibly the Champions League final. You guys will have to wait and find out in today's episode if we will be going through to the final of the Champions League. Just imagine that, guys. Spanish Cup final and Champions League final to end off this first season. Plus, we could possibly be winning the La Liga title. But we did come up against Real Betis in the first game of today's episode. Did They did have the first chance in this game. But it was a pretty easy save there from our Bravo. As in the 59th, Minute, they're looking to get on the attack again. They they they've got the ball out on the out on the wing. Sorry, they're gonna look to cut it inside. They do very well, and with Ruben Castro, they almost made it one 0 But there really was a bit of a confusion from Gerard Pique and Mark Bartra at the back. They almost lost the ball, and one of the Betis players almost pounced on it. But luckily for us, now that one did go. Uh, we did concede that one. And from that, Real Betis didn't really do much for the rest of the game. As in the 60, uh, 66 minutes, sorry, Luis Suarez did, really did have a great opportunity to put ourselves one year in the lead. But his shot is denied by the Real Betis goalkeeper, making sure that this game is stuck at a nil-nil score. And from that, Iniesta with the corner. And from that, Real Betis goalkeeper does punch that one out. But, but we're not done with theirs. Lacazette does take a shot from just outside the area. And his shot is well saved there yet again by the Betis goalkeeper. As in the 74th minute we've got Murray Goethe down the wing. He's going to look to play to Lacazette and Lacazette actually loses the ball, but from that, we're going to play the ball back to Murray Goethe, who did very well in this attack. It's Goethe is going to play it inside to Lacazette. He probably had a bit more time than I, I thought he had. Maybe could have taken a touch and finished that one, but he just did take the shot first, first time, and it was a saviour again from the Betis goalkeeper, really denying us golden opportunities in this game to put ourselves one year in the lead. And as I said before, uh, after Real Betis had those few chances, they didn't really do much with the ball later on. You guys can see during the second half, it really was controlled by us. As in the 90th minute, Goethe does get taken down, and we do have a free kick in the 90th minute. And Suarez is going to take step up to take this free Free kick from 22 yards out. Luis Suarez is going to hit the crossbar. We had a golden chance to win us this game right at the end in the 90th minute during stoppage time. We had a golden chance to win us this game, but our shot was denied by the crossbar. The game is going to end at a nil-nil draw, and where is that going to leave us in the league with only two games to go? in this league season. It is getting, getting very intense at the moment. Will we walk away with the title? You guys can see that we're three points ahead of Valencia and Real Madrid. Valencia do have a game in hand, and as I did say, if they do win that game in hand, they will go level points with us at the top of the table. But most importantly, we have a plus five goal difference over them. So if it did come down to goal difference, we will obviously win the league. You guys can see the injury list. Nine Golan, he's going to be out for the rest of the season. Sampa will be coming back soon uh, in, in 13 days. But the main problem you guys can see from the injury list is Messi's going to be out for another four weeks. And you guys can see from this calendar, Messi is obviously going to be out for another four weeks. And there really is only about four or five weeks to go until the end of the season. Will Messi come back and play the Spanish Cup final and possibly the Champions League final? You guys have to wait and find out in the next episode. Will Messi be returning? Um, that is a question that will be answered very, very soon. But if Messi was to return, 
it will be very tough. You guys did see that we only have about another four or five weeks to go till the end of the season. It does say four weeks, but could Messi's injury possibly be a bit longer than that? Uh, that will obviously rule him out for the rest of the season. But there is not long to go. And as I did say, a possible Champions League final is up for grabs here in the second leg against Valencia. The first leg did end in a 2-0 victory to us. So we're going into this away leg with a 2-0 uh, aggregate lead. You guys can see that my Barcelona side for this game, we're starting Turan, Lacazette and Neymar up front. Uh, Vidal, Rafinha and Sergio Berta in the midfield. Jordi Alba, Mateu, Mascherano and Fabinho at the back and Claudio Bravo will be starting in goals. You guys can probably uh, tell from that lineup that is not my strongest lineup. There's no likes of Luis Suarez in the side. There's no likes of Murray Goethe in the side. But I am still starting a side that could really win us this game. And you guys already know from the previous game against Valencia, Rafinha had an outstanding game. And Valencia almost got a goal to really make this aggregate game on. Really make it 2-1 on an aggregate and really get themselves back into this aggregate tie. As uh, their header did go wide of the goal. But we're going to push on into the 37th minute as Lacazette is on the ball. He's going to play it wide to Neymar. Neymar's going to look to cut inside. He does do so very well to skip around the, uh, the sliding challenger. He's going to continue his run. Still Neymar. He's going to take a shot. And Diego Alves does pull off a save to deny Neymar a goal. Um, and put ourselves 1-0 in the lead, but remember, 3-0 on aggregate. Just imagine that, 3-0 on aggregate, that surely will put us through to the final of the Champions League. We had another chance in the 45th minute with Rafinha, the Brazilian, but his shot is denied yet again from Diego Alves. As from that, Ada Turan with the cross, trying to find Vidal inside the area. The ball gets headed out back to Turan. Turan is on the ball, almost loses it, but he's still going to keep control of it. Does whip it across to find Lacazette with the header, and just before half time, Lacazette with a great chance there. But Lacazette's header did uh, go wide of the goal, and scores are going to remain at 0-0 in this game. But Valencia do really need a goal back because in the 61st minute we do lose the ball and as it did say Valencia need a goal ASAP as they do have been across but Bravo has to come out and uh, make the save there so Valencia really do need a goal very very soon if they do want to get back into these tyres during the second half Turan goes down with an injury in the 85th minute and is that going to be Turan's season done you guys have to wait and find out after this game as in the 87th minute not long after that injury Valencia look to get on the attack. Mateo looks to clear the ball, but his clearance is not uh, dealt with uh, very well as he went straight to the Valencia man. And they're actually going to make it 1-0 in this game. In the 88th minute, it was pretty intense. Two minutes to go for the rest of this game. You guys know on aggregate, we'll be going through to the Champions League final. Barcelona going through to the Champions League final. We may have lost this game 1 0, but we're going through with a 2 1 aggregate win. And we're going through to the final of the Champions League. That game will be played uh, as the final game for season number one. And the team that we, we are coming up against is massive. A huge team. Bayern Munich eliminate Manchester United in the semi final. 6 2 on aggregate, which means it's going to set up a Bayern Munich versus Barcelona Champions League final. And Turan is out for four weeks, and that pretty much is his season all over. Sadly, Turan is going to be out for the rest of the season with an injury. Let's hope that he can return for season number two, um, just as good as he's been playing throughout season number one, because he played very well throughout uh, this first season. At the Turan. And as you guys did see there, that Sergi Sampa is back from his injury. Great news. Sergi Sampa, we have missed him for a couple of weeks. And we all know how well he's been playing throughout this first season. And it really is nice to have him back. I did make a few changes to a few players' contracts. As Neymar actually wants 250000 per week. And in the previous episode, Neymar did approach me. Uh, letting me know that he might actually want to go back to Brazil. Back to his home and leave Barcelona. That is why I did put in a contract contract to give him what he wants. He actually wanted 250000 per week and that is a lot of money but we want Neymar to stay at the club and that is what we're going to try and do. As we're heading into the final game of today's episode, we win this game, where will that leave us? Will we still be sitting first in the league? You guys have to wait and find out. But if we lose this game, pretty much that is 
we could possibly lose the league right here if we do lose this game. And as you guys can see, I went very risky in this game. Really starting a 4-5-1 formation for this game as Suarez will be starting up front. But this is the uh, second last game of the season. This is match day 37. In the next episode, we'll be ending off the league season. That is going to be match day uh, number 38. So this really is huge, guys. You guys will be seeing the league table before we do end off today's episode. Where will we be sitting after this game against es Espanyol? As in the second minute of this game, I really did want an early goal. We really did need an early goal in this game to give us the confidence for the rest of the game really for the rest of this season with one more game to go. As in the fourth minute, Luis Suarez is going to play the ball through to Dani Alves, who plays it back to Luis Suarez. It was a fantastic attack, and what a way it would have been to start off this game against Espanyol. What a way it would have been to kickstart this game. Luis Suarez just coming close to giving us a 1-0 advantage. As in the 21st minute, Espanyol looked to get on the attack, but Vidal is there to win us the ball. As Munier actually plays it to Luis Suarez, Suarez does skip around one defender as the defender that tries to put in a challenge. He's going to play to Munier, who plays it back to Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez really controlling all our attacks in this first uh, 25 minutes. As it's Iniesta on the ball, who plays it wide to Vidal. Vidal's got the ball wide. He's going to whip it across to find Luis Suarez with the header. And it was pretty much a... It was a fantastic header, but I wasn't actually uh, expecting Luis Suarez to actually get a header on that one. But Luis Suarez is going to make it Barcelona 1, Espanyol 0 after 25 minutes in this game. A more... A really important goal there to possibly giving us the three pointers in the 41st minute. Neymar is on the ball and he actually gets fouled. And from that, we're going to be having a free kick here in the 42nd minute. As Luis Suarez steps up from 30 yards out and the Uruguayan striker, Luis Suarez, is going to put that ball into the back of the net. It was a fantastic free kick there from Suarez. And in the 42nd minute, Barcelona 2, Espanyol 0. We're looking like we're going to pick up three points here and possibly winning us the league, depending on the result which is going on uh, away at Valencia. But Luis Suarez did score that goal, and what a fantastic goal it was from Suarez. You guys can see the replays of that goal it was a fantastic finish into the back of the net from Luis Suarez. So that does give us now a 2-0 advantage going into halftime and really giving us the confidence for the rest of this game and hopefully for the final match day that will be played in the next episode. But that is how the first half did end. So that was halftime. And as you guys can tell from uh, around the grounds at halftime, Real Madrid were actually facing Valencia. So it's actually second versus third. And at halftime, it's Real Madrid 1, Valencia 1. So it is very tight there at the moment. If Valencia did pick up, uh, if Valencia do lose their game, that could possibly mean that we have won the league title. And you guys will go into, obviously, the next episode knowing that we will be lifting up the league trophy. But that game is not over. Anything could happen. And as I was... Just as I was speaking about that in the 64th minute, Luis Suarez is going to complete his hat-trick. So Suarez has got his hat-trick in the 64th minute. It's now 3-0 against Espanyol. And that is how the game is going to end. The game is going to end Barcelona 3, Espanyol 0 in a 3-0 victory. What a way to end off today's episode. Have we done enough to win us the league title? Let's find out, guys after this game. But what a game it was. A 3-0 win against Espanyol. Luis Suarez picks up a hat-trick and what a way it was to pick up a hat-trick. Scoring three important goals and when it is important to score goals, Suarez has come up with the goods because obviously we needed to win this game to possibly win us the league title. But let's actually take a look at it guys. But just before we take a look at the league table, we do have an email that we do have to take a look at as Suarez does collect the match ball. Sergio Roberto has accepted his contract, which is awesome to see. That means Sergio Roberto has obviously a contract extension. He has a bit more money in his pocket and he'll be staying at the club. As Lacazette says, thanks boss. He's very happy of the time that he's spending here at the moment. And Neymar has decided he wants to stay at the club, which is just awesome to see, which means Neymar is not going anywhere. So this is how it's going to look, guys. We're heading into the final match day of the season, heading into match day number 38 in the La Liga. Barcelona played 37. We're on 76 points. Valencia are second with 76 points. 
Anything can happen, guys. Are we going to walk away with the league title or are Valencia going to snatch it off us right at the end? We do have an all-important plus four goal difference that can come into consideration if uh, us and Valencia do end on the same points tally. It is very intense, guys. First and second, same points heading into the final match day that will be played in the next episode. Guys, make sure you go support the video by dropping a like rating. Make sure you drop a comment down below and make sure you also click subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll see you all on my next video.